everyone. Welcome back to our STEM subject series. I'm Abigail Rebulanam. To help and guide you towards your next step as being a grade 11 science, technology, engineering, and mathematics student. I'll be sharing with you some topics you might encounter towards this next step in different subject areas. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our video updates. And if you have not yet watched our previous video lectures, and for the next part of this presentation, just check the description below. So, let's start. Good day, everyone. So, today, I'll be sharing with you one of the topics in the subject Earth Science for Grade 11 STEM for the first semester as the part two of our video presentation. And this is all about our solar system. So we have your picture of our solar system from Sun to Aries. And in this presentation, I'll be sharing with you some interesting facts about the planets in our solar system. So first of all, solar system is the family of Sun and collection of eight planets, Moon, Sun, and many more. Sun is the yellow dwarf star and the heart of our solar system since it is the source of heat and light. We have the terrestrial planets which are made of rocky material. Surfaces are solid. They don't have rings and relatively are somewhat small. So we have here the picture of the terrestrial planets from Venus, Earth, Mars, and Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and has the shortest orbit in the solar system. That's why it's called the swift planet, since it is the planet closest to the sun. Also have the Venus, which has the same mass, composition, and gravity with the Earth. That's why it is called as the Earth's twin, and it is also the hottest planet. We have here the Earth or the blue planet. It can sustain life because of water systems. Next is the Mars or the red planet. Here we can see the highest volcano or the Olympus Mons and the largest systems of canyons or the Valles Marineris. So here is the picture of Valles Marineris and Olympus Mons. Next we have the Jovian planets. So these are planets that have multiple moons, has no solid surface, and can support ring systems, and they are immense or large or great in size. So we have here the two classifications of Jovian planets, the gas giants and ice giants. For gas giants, we have Jupiter and Saturn. For ice giants, we have Uranus and Neptune. So for gas giants, they are made dominantly of helium and hydrogen. And ice giants contains rock, ice, and mixture of methane and ammonia. These two are gases. So first, we have the Jupiter or the largest planet. It has 79 moons because it's too big and spins very fast, so it attracts more moons. It also has auroras or twisting lights on its north pole. So we can see in the picture an example of aurora because of its strong magnetic field. We also have the Saturn or the second largest planet. In fact, it is lighter than water when it comes to its weight and it can float on water. Next is the Uranus or the sideways planet since it rotates on its side and has blue-green color from methane which is a type of gas as we can see in the picture. Next is the Neptune and this is the outermost planet. 
and the third largest planet by mass. So are you interested? Do you want to explore more? You can check the description below for the next part of this video. The heavens tell the glory of God. The skies display His marvelous craftsmanship from Psalm 191. Thank you and see you in our next video. I hope that this really helped you. Thank you and God bless. Please see the description below. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.